Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. We will do some test review. And doing math is a very entertaining and very relaxing job because you can work something and find a result. And it's very, it's just, uh, yeah, good. Okay, determine, this is a, a test review. So it's more or less comprehensive with different kind of uh, knowledge we have learned. <coughs> determine if the sequence is arithmetic. If it is, if it is, find the common difference. The 50, second term and uh, the explicit formula so the <clears throat> an arithmetic uh, sequence in chinese is a deng cha deng is the same cha is difference so <clears throat> it's a, it's a suan shu suan shu uh, suan shu deng cha shu lie and the, the difference is the same so <clears throat> What we are going to see if the first between these two differences, if it is the same consistent as the second to third, third to fourth, the neighboring distance, if it is the same, keep the same, then it is arithmetic sequence. So let's see the first two <coughs> items. The first two items, the difference between, so what we can do, we can use the first item minus the second item. We have, let me copy this problem, one is 32, one, negative one, 68, negative three, 68, and uh, <coughs> negative 5, 68. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> the paper all fall down. So what we can see, 32 and 68 is not so obvious. And what we can see, 1, 6, 8, and 3, 6, 8, it both have 6, 8, and it's very easy to see. So we can start from here. So the difference between these two terms from this one up to here is a negative 200. From negative 3, 6, 8 to negative 5, 6, 8, the difference between these two is a negative 200. With these two in your mind, now we work on this kind of gibberish or a little bit uh, not so uh, clear number. I know if you are really very good at number, you can immediately see that the difference is negative 200. But for the people who is a little bit not smart, who is a little bit slow or a lot slow, then the smart people, we can just use the pattern here and uh, and it can save us a lot of time and a lot of calculation. And one of the basic rule of math is that you need to think smart. You need to see and look for the pattern. Do not pick up the pen to work on the problem immediately. You have to give yourself some time to digest the problem. So we see this is all different, so we can see the pattern. And <clears throat> let's take this one, is term one, right? And term two equal, term one is 32, term two is negative 168. And we know if it is a, a <clears throat> arithmetic uh, sequence, then the term n equal to a starting number a plus n minus 1 times the difference, the difference. And this is uh, uh, the difference. <clears throat> and we put, plug in the number term 1 equal to a plus 
1 minus 1 times the difference. And we know term 1 is 32 equal to a plus 0 times the difference. So a equal to 32. So we got this critical number ready. And we will need a lot of these critical numbers as we calculate. And <clears throat> we can plug in T2 equal to A plus 2 minus 1 times D, right? And the term 2 is negative 1, 6, 8 equal to a is 32 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 plus D. So D equal, move to this side, is negative 200. Now we, we got the two variables. And we fix this two number. Now, term 52 becomes Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Term 52 equal to A plus N 52 minus 1 times D. A is 32 plus 51 times negative 200. So it's 32 plus negative 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, right? So negative positive, so negative 1, 0, 1, 6, 8. So this is the answer. It takes time, but it is better that we slow down and solve the problem step by step. And uh, this is for elementary. Uh, uh, the basic knowledge is actually any elementary student can understand. Although it's a high school math, it is not so scary. Once your, 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 your brain can function and very in a clear, crispy, clear mindset, it is not that difficult. Okay, thank you very much. The second one, simplify each expression. This one, the teacher is doing a brilliant job to make our life miserable. And uh, we will let him see that your teacher cannot conquer you, cannot make your life miserable because you are better than it. Okay, divide it by, neg uh, by 1 over 3. Divide one number is equal to multiply its reciprocal. So you can write on, change the format of writing it. The <coughs> numerator, we do not change it. We do one step at a time. Divide 1 over 3 equal to time 3. I did not change anything. Did I change anything? No, how dare I? So this, this term does not, uh, uh, the, the one in parentheses, uh, they are of different denominator. So we need to make it into the same denominator. The same denominator is 2m. m times 2 times 2, so 4 2 times m times m minus 3m times 3. So equal to 2m on the, as the denominator. And the numerator is 12 minus 9m. Simple, um, straightforward. Simple is not a word. Straightforward. Um, equation, calculation, arithmetic calculation. Okay. 
Question number three, we need to simplify with uh, um, imaginary number. So this means you need to rationalize this number. I do not want like um, imaginary, imaginary number as a denominator. I don't like it. Why don't I like it? Because the scientists or the mathematicians didn't like it. The teacher didn't like it. They want us to change the new uh, denominator into uh, a, a straightforward natural number. Okay, let's do it. Natural na number or uh, 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 an integer. Number three, you want it? You want it. You want it. You want some. You want some. I get you. I give you. I give you. You want some. I give you. You want some. I give you. Okay. This we know one way of doing it is 5 minus 2i times 5 plus 2i. This one becomes 5 square minus 2 I square. This way you get rid of the, 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 the imaginary number. And on the numerator part, we first copy. I didn't change anything. And denominator, we time a number. The numerator, we need to time exactly the same number. So I am timing the exactly the same number. So on the bottom is 25 minus, minus what? Minus 2i square, which means plus 4. Right? Here on top, we will do 25 times 25 is 20. The 5 times 5 is 25 plus 35i plus 10i minus 14. So equal to 29. 25 minus 14 is 11. And 35 and 10 plus 45i. And that is the answer. The teacher wants us to simplify, and the number is even becoming even bigger. Well, he wants it. You want some? You want some? I give you. You want it? I give you. What is the big deal, right? Okay, question number four. Simplify each expression. Now, first, I copy this problem. x plus 7 over x plus 4. This is my Chinese way of writing x. Some people say that this looks strange. I don't know how you write. Maybe you write this way. This looks very much like... Uh, like uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, multiply, multiplication sign. This is our Chinese way of writing. This is a, not Chinese way. It's when I was in high school or middle school, my teacher wrote it this way. So I follow her and his sample. Divided by 14x cubed plus 8x squared. 7x plus 4. Mm, 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 mm. I see something. 14 and 8, 7 and 4. Ah, times 2. Okay. Okay, let's move on. We will... The first part we will not change because it looks decent and elegant. Not so complicated. And you divide a number equal to multiply, it's reciprocal. So I can do it a little bit faster, but I choose to do it slowly. 
you know, sometimes I'm smarter than this. <laughs> okay, did I change anything? I didn't change anything. I just changed the sign, so I do an, 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 an <clears throat> equivalent movement. I did not change any single thing. Times 7x plus 4. And here we can take out the common multiple or the common factor. 2x squared times 7x plus 4. Oh, I see ya, baby. I see ya, baby. We can cross cancel this one out. So x plus 4. I need to have my pretty pencil. Mm. Mm. Which one do we use? We use the orange. Out, out. Get out of my way. x plus 7 times 2x squared, right? I did not change anything, did I? Equal to 2x cubed plus 8x squared x plus 7. That is our result. Let me see my result sheet so that... Oh, the teacher did this way. Is this simplified? I don't know. Okay, I am a little bit using a bit more paper than than usual, but uh, it's for making video. This is a recycled paper. Okay. Question number five, x plus nine over seven x squared minus three x minus ten times ten as denominator seventy x minus one hundred. Okay. So 7 has a 0, this one has a 0, so we can just cross out the 0, becomes easier. And 7, 3, mm, there is something interesting, 7 and 3, and just see the number is 10, and here is a 10, let's do 1, 7, 1, 10, and negative, ah, so we can 1, 7, 1, 10. So we can factor it, actually. So, <clears throat> equal to x plus 9 over x plus 1 times 7x minus 10 times, ooh, I see the pattern over 1. This becomes 1. 7x minus 10. Oh, get out of my way. So the result is x plus 1 as a denominator and x plus 9 as a numerator. And that is the result. And I know it is right. Okay. Question number 6. Still simplify. And this one simplify, there is no imaginary number, but there is a, a square root. I do not want to see any square root. I want to make it rationalize. So, so I want to, so I need to uh, work on it. Let's work on it. I work it out. Look at that. Look at the number. I work it out. Look at the number. I work it out. Six plus square root of two. Okay. 
So we copy the problem. Did I copy it exactly the same? Yes, we are exactly the same. Okay, now I copy it. Six plus square root of two, three minus 10 times square root of 10. So if we, are, we want to rationalize it, we need to time six minus square root of two. And on top, we need to multiply exactly the same number. Okay, so six times six is 36. Five times five is 25. Six times six is 36. And minus square root of 2 square. So minus 2. Right? Okay. 368 square root of 10. 3 square root of 2. 10 square root of 20. Okay, 6636, on the bottom, 18 minus 60, square root of 10, minus 3, square root of 2, plus, we can take, uh, take 4, 4 times 5, so, Two come out becomes two. Twenty square root of five. And that is as good as it gets. Nothing better than that. Okay. Number six. Number seven. Solve each equation. Remember to check for extraneous solutions. Mm. There might be some solution that is not good. Number seven, let's do it. Square root of one minus m plus three equal to square root of 10 m minus one. So what do we need to do? Once it's under the square root, under the roof, you cannot solve any problem. Even if you are Holmes, if you are the best detector, you cannot work anything under the roof. You cannot enter into other people's house, right? Okay, we need to get rid of the roof. So we square on both sides. Square on this side because we want to get rid of the roof of this one. 1 minus m plus 6, r, 3, 6 square root of 1 minus m plus 9 equal to 10 m minus 1. Did I change anything? I did not. Nothing has changed. So 1 minus m plus 6 square root of 1 minus m plus 9 equal 10 m minus 1 10 negative 1 become negative 11 so 6 square root of 1 minus m equal to and m move 11 m minus 11 aha uh -huh, that's interesting now we need to square these both sides so 36 times 1 minus m equal to 1 to 1 m square minus uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, tinkle tinkle little r a b 2 4 2 m plus 1 to 1 36 minus 36 m equal to 1 to 1 m square minus 2 for 2 m plus 1 to 1. 
So one, two, one. M square. Oh, oh, this one need to move here. Minus two, four, two. Minus 36 is two, zero, six. And one, two, one. Minus 36 is six, six, five. And plus 85 equal to zero. Okay, we just do some calculation, do some movement. And I did not change anything, right? I did not change anything. So this one is plus 36m plus 36m minus 36 minus 36. So this is the result. Mm, gosh, what is this teacher make this number so complicated? <gasps> uh oh, I see something. I see ya, baby. I see ya, baby. 206. 1 to 1 plus 85 is 206. <laughs> Maybe we can do the factoring. 1, 1 to 1, 1, negative, negative. Ooh, we did it right. Okay, so M minus M, ah, just sorry. M minus one times one, two, one. M minus 85 equal to zero. M equal to one or M equal to one to one, fenzhi 85, 85 over one to one. Now we need to put back this one in to prove if we did it the right thing. One minus when, when, <laughs> not, when m equal to one, zero plus three equal to one, square root of nine. Right, we are right. So one is right when, right, when m is one to one, 85 over one to one, mm, that is, let's do it. Square root of one minus one to one over 85 equal to square root of one two one one two one minus eighty five equal square root of one two one thirty six Ooh, i see the pattern i see ya baby so equal to square root equal to eleven six six over eleven okay now we see the other side and 6 over 11, yeah. So six, e, 6 over 11 plus 3 is 11, 39. Okay, so on this side, we got this. And on this side, we work. On the right side of the equation, square root of 10 times 1 to 1, 85 minus 1 equal to square root of 1 to 1 850 minus 1 to 1 equal to square root of 1 to 1 over uh, 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 9, 3, 9, 3, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. <laughs> A chi er jiu, chi er jiu. What I'm doing? Five minus two. Chi er jiu, chi er jiu. Seven two nine. It can be divided by nine. Let's see. Divided. By nine is Bashi. Oh, that is quite interesting. Bashi. <laughs> so it's nine to the. 
Oh, no, no, no. What I'm doing here? Um, she ba wu ling jian yi er yi jiu. Oh, 10 and minus 1. Yeah. So it's not equal. It is not equal. So that is not the answer. So the answer is only m equal to 1. 85. So the answer is only m equal to 1. The other one doesn't work. Let me see if I'm right. I feel suspicious. Ooh, I am right. I am right. Yes, the answer is one. Gosh, I need to prove. Sometimes I... Okay, so it means that the other one, this one, is extraneous. It's just uh, not right. Okay, so the answer is m equal to one. Okay, thank you very, 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 very much. I love you. I really do, 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 do. Okay. Let's take a look at question number eight. So x plus one equal to number eight. x plus one equal to square root of four x plus thirty six. So number one thing you want to get rid of this uh, square root, this gung ha, right? When you want to see something root, you have to really take out the root, enter into the house. So we square on both sides. x squared plus 2x plus 1 equal to 4x plus 36. Move this one, x squared minus 2x minus 35 equal to 0. Ooh. Easy peasy looks five times seven one one mm -mm. put it smaller one one five seven negative sign negative so x plus five times x minus seven equal to zero <coughs> x equal to negative five x equal to seven Put x equal to negative 5 inside. It's a negative number. Okay. This is not good. No, 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 no. 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 四七二十八, 二十八加, 二十八加, 三十六, 八八, 六十四, square root of uh, 46 is 8. So x is 7. That is the right answer. Question number 9. Mm -hmm. Let me first copy the problem. 1 over 4k minus 8 minus 1 over 4k square plus 24k minus 64 
equal to 1 over k plus 8. Okay, there are so many 4 and those things, so we take it out. First thing, clean it up. 1 over 4 k minus 2 minus 1 over 4 k squared plus 4, 6, 16 equal to 1 over k plus 8. Mm. This we can, we can factor it. 1, 1, 2, 8, positive. That this is positive, this is negative. Okay, 1 over 4, k minus 2 minus 1 over 4, k minus 2, k plus 8 equal to 1 over k plus 8. Ooh, k plus 8, k minus 2. Okay, so we can find the common, the denominator is 4k minus 2 times k plus 8. So this one need to time k plus 8. And this one need to minus 1 equal to 1 over 4 k minus 2 k plus 8 and this we need to time 4 k minus 1 so the bottom we do not even need to think about k plus 7 equal to 4 k minus 8, 3k equal to 15k equal to 5. So we get the answer k equal to 5. Plug it in. Plug in 5. 1. Okay, I first copy this problem so that. On the left side, k equal to 5, 四, 五, 二, 十, 减, 八, 分, 之, 一, 减, 去, 四, 乘, 以, 三, 四, 三, 乘, 以, 十, 三, 五, this number is pretty complicated. On the left side, on the right side, we will take a look on the right side. 1 over k plus 8 equal to 5 plus 8 over 1 is 1 over 13. The same number. So the answer is k equal to 5. Okay, let me see what time is it. Almost time for me to go. Now I need to go. We will do question number 10 when we come back. Thank you very much. I love you. I really do. do.